Hello everyone. Let's do lead code hard question 768. Max chunks to make sorted two. This question is asking you if you are given this array, uh, how to divide them into chunks so that when you sort inside each chunk and then concatenate all the result of those chunks, it will be same for the whole array as if you sorted them the whole array uh, at once. And uh, you want to divide them as many as possible. So there are three quite different solutions to this problem given uh, which observation more intuitive to you. Uh, I will go through all of them, uh, but you will see very clearly uh, which one is better uh, to you, especially to implement during the interview. So the first observation is that each number has to be uh, grouped with its last smaller number to be correctly reordered. Uh, I'll show you a diagram later to demonstrate each observation. And the second observation is each chunk must satisfy a higher level order, which means uh, inside each small chunk, the left one has to have a maximum value that is smaller than the minimum value from the right one. And the last one is the prefix sum of the sorted and the unsorted version of the same array would be same if and only if the prefix only contains complete chunks. To make those three observations more clear and how each observation lead into a different solution, I draw them here. So the, for the first one, for the first one, you basically iterate through all the numbers and for each number, you find the rightmost number that is smaller than the current number. And after you collecting all those information, you will have a range for each number that ranges from this number to this rightmost smaller number. Uh, and uh, the next step, you just need to merge them. The problem with this solution is it can happen that when you two range are not totally overlapping. So when you start merging them from left to right, uh, you will need to double check and uh, keep expanding your right range. Uh, so basically, although for five, it's only uh, ranges to this one position, but because during this process, eight has a range that more right to the one, then you need to further expand to include them all together. So because, because of this situation, it makes the code longer and then the implementation become more uh, error prone. The second solution is uh, based on the observation. If you look at each position that can divide this uh, array, it will become clear that for each pair of chunks, this is left one, this is the right one, and this is left and right, and this is left right. The maximum value from the left side has to be smaller or equal uh, than the minimum value of the right. Uh, because of that, they can be separated and you can form a new chunk, which is very intuitive and very uh, easy to implement. And the solution three uh, is the least intuitive one to think, but is the most elegant one to implement. So the idea is uh, when you go from left to right together uh, through the unsorted version and the sorted version, the sum of the prefix between the uh, unsorted version and the sorted version, they will be same if and only if this prefix end at the boundary between two uh, chunks. So this is a very clean way to solve this, but it's very hard to think of. Now let's write the solution.
the first solution has two step. The first step is to um, find the rightmost smaller number given or for each uh, current number. The second step is to merge all the ranges defined between the current number to the right uh, smaller number. Right most a smaller number. So we need an array to store this uh, smaller number. And uh, I won't even bother to optimize it. I will just show you the brutal force way and uh, to show you it can pass. It's just uh, not clean. Remember, since you're looking for the rightmost one, you start with the current uh, next. Uh, and uh, so when you count the index, it should, should start uh, with i plus 1 instead of 0 again. So literally just go through all the right side numbers and update uh, the last smaller one then append uh, to this container. So next step we want to merge all of them and forms the chunks. And because it can expand as I showed here, it can expand so you want to have a you want to begin with a left pointer and a right pointer and possibly move the right pointer uh, during this process to find uh, the final one. Again, the only reason I included this solution still is just to show you uh, what it's going to cost you if you don't understand the other better solution. Uh, so don't waste your time trying to understand every line of this solution. Just make sure you can understand and remember the other solutions. So this process is keep expanding the right boundary. Uh, when you find a newer one, you just update uh, the right boundary. And you want to keep moving to make sure you checked uh, the possible expansion from all the numbers that are covered from the original range. And this step is totally unnecessary. You can just uh, count instead of tracking all the exact chunk. You can just uh, count the number plus one. Uh, but I did it just uh, because it's easier to debug.
So that's the first solution. It it did pass, but it's really slow, and you definitely don't want to use this in interview. Now let's do the second solution. The second solution, uh, remember it needs to know the maximum value from the left trunk and uh, the maximum value from the right trunk. So that's the first two steps we're gonna do. Uh, and by trunk, it actually doesn't matter uh, if you include exactly this trunk or actually the whole prefix or the exactly right trunk or the whole uh, right uh, fix, uh, suffix because by definition it still has to be it won't change the mean or maximum value so the first step is to find all left uh, max value and similarly the second step is to find all right mean value and the last step is to return all the positions uh, where satisfy this condition. So we want a container for all the left max value and also track the left max. Then we just go through this array to update um, the all the left max value. And the second step is totally symmetric, so I'll just copy the code here and change it to right mean. And uh, be careful the when you do uh, because f f the right mean you want to only look to the right side, uh, so it's easier you just uh, iterate them then uh, sorry you just reverse them then reverse them back. So that's the second step you want to go because you want to go from right to left instead of uh, from left to right. So the last step is to uh, count how many positions satisfy this condition. And because you are looking at like the dividing line between the chunks, so you want to go through the very end. Uh, and uh, also you are comparing for the left boundary, the i uh, is the last one. And uh, so for the next one, it would be i plus one. And also if you don't find any chunks that satisfy this condition you still sh should have one chunk which is a whole array which means you should start with one instead of zero every time you find a new boundary that satisfies this it should further divide it um, yeah. so that's a second solution
So the last solution is the most elegant one, which is literally going through the sorted and unsorted at the same time uh, and uh, compare the prefix sum of sorted and unsorted at the same time. Every time you find uh, the prefix are same between those two arrays that indicate uh, this is a valid trunk. Um, in case you are not familiar, this is exactly the same as if this, uh, but Python is uh, cl clever enough to know that you actually want an integer instead of a boolean uh, because of this plus operator. Oh, I forgot to initialize all the values. So that's all the three solutions. As long as you have this very clear image in your mind, uh, it's very easy to reproduce and implement this, uh, the solutions to this question. This whole process doesn't have any like a tricky or subtle part or edge cases you need to handle. Uh, so once you understand that this shouldn't be a hard question anymore, it's more about the logic rather than a very uh, specific algorithm.